Do you think Cyber Monday uh, and Black Friday are already uh, uh, things of the past? And if so, why? Um, yeah, um, no, no, there's definitely still value. I mean, you see, like, uh, I, I cover Amazon, I, I run the Internet Research Group at Cowan, and, and you see Amazon's been pretty focused on, they're calling it, like, the five-day period um, from, from a, a, a kind of a Black Friday through Cyber Monday, and there's a lot of discounting that's done, and they get a lot of traffic and obviously a lot of sales. I mean, last Cyber Monday, they sold 54 million items, but but it, it is definitely more stretched out. Um, you know, they're running Black Friday promotions for 33 days uh, at Amazon, and it ends December 22nd. So I kind of you know agree that that yeah, uh, to, uh, to a degree, it's it's way more. It'll be way more spread out over time. Uh, David, you know I love my shopping. Uh, we know also that, that more Americans actually shopped over the weekend, uh, but in fact spent less. You know. What do you think the implications of that are? And, and does it have to do with the fact that sales are just so steep now? Yeah, I think, well, I think it's pretty funny that Black Friday lasts 33 days. That's, that's good. <laughs> um, you know, I think everybody, you can't fight the inevitable tide of history, right? Convenience, pricing, selection, free delivery. Online is just a machine that's getting better and better oiled. There's innovation still coming from startups that are coming up with interesting new creative ways to get people interested, to aggregate new kinds of products and services. You know, there really isn't a good way that the offline, you know, brick and mortar world can fight back long term. I think that doesn't mean that goes away, but I think, you know, we are we are seeing a fundamental shift toward online and convenience. Um, whether the, the overall sales are going to be affected by that, I think people do spend more when it's easier. So long term, I think it's good for the economy. Now, John, you closely follow Amazon. Uh, my colleague Brad Stone has a great piece out about how Amazon is growing at simply an unprecedented rate. We know that Walmart's growth uh, is slowing dramatically. You know, how did Amazon versus Walmart fare this particular Black Friday slash Cyber Monday? Yeah, so so I don't I don't cover Walmart, but I could speak uh, uh, to to Amazon. Um, I think, you know, obviously they're expecting much better growth this year versus last year. If you look at it, they added uh, 18 fulfillment centers in the third quarter and five fulfillment centers in the first week of October. Overall, they're adding 26 this year versus 14 last year. And they announced on their third quarter call that they're increasing their uh, fulfillment footprint by 30 percent uh, year over year versus uh, plus 22 percent on, on average between 2013 and 2015. So they're clearly expecting uh, great near-term demand, uh, which I think will bode well in the numbers. We actually have uh, estimate, we estimate that revenue will accelerate in the fourth quarter of this year, their e-commerce revenue, so stripping out AWS uh, versus last year. So, um, and, we've, and, and we have a lot of great proprietary data at Cowan, and we've noticed um, in really big verticals that are non-core to Amazon, like apparel and consumables and grocery, accelerating purchaser growth, which is why you're seeing this unprecedented growth. They're, they're growing in huge verticals that are not core, like media and electronics.